My brass extended bolt. In we go. Test shot. Watch it blow that pencil right off. That's it for putting the breech on. The rest of it is putting the scope and all this buck rail accessories up front. For speed tests, I'm running only two. One is the Crossman hollow point. I'm going to run for the first time for me these JBL match exact jumbos. It looks pretty sharp too, don't you think? Wondering about that loud roar there. That's what that was. The Crossman hollow point, which we can do a direct comparison. It was the only one that I use in direct comparison on this round. It went from an average speed of 732 to average speed of 758 feet per second with the extended probe and the metal breech. That's a significant increase. Increase the kinetic energy from 17 foot-pounds to 1825, and 1825 is pretty good. Also, the standard deviation went down from 17 to 11.4. After watching numerous people use it, this particular pellet, I decided I better try it myself. So I did, and this is what we've got. Very impressive. Even though this weighs 15.89 grains, it, it had an average speed of 739 feet per second. Kinetic energy is 19.3 foot-pounds. That is the most kinetic energy of any of my air rifles, to include Brutus Magrutus. And the standard deviation is only three. So this, we got to try this on the target at 25 yards. We're in. This is the same setup. I had buck rail equipment on it that is specific for the 3622 to include the threaded edge, which has is uh, it normally comes like this and then your your Franklin port is right there and it's got a lot better cover than the little rubber nozzle and I'll show you just once or twice here in previous videos you can't really tell that much difference but believe me probably the thing you listen for is the echo more than the actual noise because uh, camera cuts out the noise at a certain level but listen for the e the difference in the echo and I've got a couple of silhouettes set up there so we'll shoot at those that sounds like a 22 got a nice grouping there this is all from 25 yards and then I zeroed her in we're gonna go I got my daisy shoot and see here so I can see it from out there and it looks good for you and we've got the camera going from about three feet out. Let's see what we do with 10 rounds. Hold that one. Get it, I pulled it. There's five. Let's keep going. I do not see there's been such a whole hum response to this other than the fact it doesn't have a gauge in a magazine. This thing shoots really nice and really accurate. And you can get her silenced really easy. There's 10, I think. Here is out of 10. There's that, the one flyer which I knew I did the second I did it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please press the like button. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Appreciate that. See you on the next video.